السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Deaths, the agony, the hardship, the humiliating problem of being indebted. Some people continue to borrow until their debts reach very high numbers to an extent that some of them cannot even pay it off. You see, some people are in the habit of borrowing money for the simplest matter and for the slightest difficulty they come across. They want to buy a new car, they go borrow money. They want to buy furniture for the house or renew the furniture in the house, they borrow money. They have school tuitions or university fees, they borrow money. Uh, anything. The easiest thing for them is go and say, hey, can you please lend me? Or they go to the bank and borrow money. Now, this makes the situation worse if they go in and, and borrow from a bank with interest. We go into a purely haram transaction there. The Prophet wasallam said, and this is reported by Imam Ahmed and classified as authentic by Al-Albani. He said, don't scare yourselves. And when he was asked how, he said, buy debts. You keep borrowing money and shoulder more and more and more debts on your shoulder. Don't put yourself in this situation. Live according to what you have. Be satisfied with what Allah gave you. And don't keep longing for more and more. As Umar radiallahu anhu said, Whenever you desire something, you, you must go buy it. When you have this practice or this attitude that you must buy everything that you desire to buy, then you will certainly come to a point where you have to borrow money because your income is not going to be enough. A lot of people think that, and this is a complicated issue, they borrow money to pay off debts. They, they think that the borrowing, money is, borrowing money is the rescue rope, while they don't realize that they're tying it around their necks and it becomes their hanging rope. We need to uh, be careful. We need to live with moderate expenditure. We need to be realistic when we spend to avoid debts. Assalamu alaikum.